to uh, Prague. There they are getting ready for that 100 metres final to decide who is the fastest man in Europe. Let's go live to the stadium and our commentators there. Drawn in lane number one, Ignachenko of Russia. Practically unknown outside Russia, but impressive here. Then Kolesnikov of Russia, the European indoor champion. Alan Wells of Scotland and Great Britain in lane number three. Petrov of Bulgaria, Olympic finalist in lane four. The great Valery Botsov, champion since 1969. Again in 71 and 74 from Russia. He's in lane five. Then Eugen Ray of East Germany in lane six. Miner of Italy, the favourite, who's looked most impressive all the way through in lane number seven. And Junecki... The recent find, in fact, the find of the championships from Poland, he's got better and better here. And he and Alan Wells look to have a battle on for the bronze because they're equal third fastest. The fastest man all the way through has been the man in lane seven, Pietro Minea of Italy. And the second fastest drawn next to him, Eugen Ray. In spite of the rain, the stadium, about three quarters full, it really has been pouring down with rain most of the day. What a month Alan Wells has had, though, coming from nothing at all. First of all, in the Commonwealth Games, he met the Olympic 100-metre champion, Hazley Crawford. Then he met the Olympic 200-metre champion, Don Quarry. Since then, he met the fastest man in the world last year, Leonard of Cuba. And here he is now against Bortzov and the rest of the Europeans. But Bortzov doesn't appear to be the danger on current form. Still, he's a great waiter and saver and usually produces his best in the final. The European 100 metres final. Three Russians in the final. Away they go, and Wells got a beauty, he got a really good start. But also going well is Minier and Eugen Ray. And Wells going well on the far side, but this is going to be very, very close indeed. It's very close, but Minier wins. Eugen Ray, and in the photograph, Ignatendo on the far side. Minier, the fastest man all the way through. He really is the most fluid mover. He's looked dominant since the championship started, and now he takes the gold medal. What a contrast with the sheer power, the rawness of Eugen Ray, who finished second, the East German. It looks as the man in lane one got third place, Ignachenko, but he's very, very close with Alan Wells, I think, about fifth. Wells got a beautiful start there, but he's really been under tremendous pressure, way beyond his experience in the past month, and I think the mental torture is telling. Wells was right with them there. Minea was not too well away in lane seven. Eugen Ray in lane six in the blue vest of East Germany with a white trimming. He's leading at this stage. On the far side, the new Russian Ignachenko is going well. Wells is right there. But from here on, Minea with this lovely floating action he's got. He's a real floating sprinter, not a power man. He comes home in front. The clear winner in second place, Eugen Ray. And I think it was right in third. The Russian at the top, Ignachenko. Fourth is Petrov. And fifth. On the near side, Junecki possibly in a photo with Alan Wells for fifth and sixth places. The signal shows that Menia knows he's finished number one. And he really has looked the number one sprinter since the championship started.